Oh my god, is that radical? If I miss the insanely heroic, the video ends. And yes, dying counts as well too. So in order to get the heroics, you have to break every single box of dying once. And it doesn't sound that bad on paper. And like, what's it called? And it's not that bad on the first half of too. But like, once you get the wait half of the game, and then you realize like this game is actually a lot more harder than the other crash games. Yeah, yeah, I get these get extremely infuriating. And my experience of getting these were absolutely miserable. So like stages of like shipping error, crash landed, toxic tunnels, and like rush hour were extremely painful to get like levels for because it's like they're way too hard and level design is just like way too much to handle. But you know, yeah, I able to get all these, same with the inverted stages, which you know, they're not bad at all except you have to play stage again. Also the flash takes were not bad at all either, except you know, like I mean there's like a couple ones that were like took me a while to get, but I mean they weren't bad, and same with the platinum notes too, it only took me a couple of tries. Except for like, you know, toxic tunnels and like rock block and all that stuff too, but I mean then again I got the uh platinum for it and I got one of those completion. And if I recommend you to do it, no. I recommend you not do completion unless you're a completionist. Or if you're applied to Tony Fletcher. If you're not that, then there's no need for you to do this because it's way too much to handle. And I did this like early on, but you know, I uh, gave up for a bit. And then once I, you know, platinum, you know, the first three Crash games and Nitro Fuel, I decided to go back to Crash 4 because I didn't want to need left to get, you know, platinum for Crash games. And yeah, this is actually the hardest Crash game to like. Not in terms of like, you know, I love Crash 4 a lot, but I have to admit that like, the completion is extremely miserable and like way too much to handle and all that stuff too and like I mean hopefully the next crash game tones down difficulty and completion because like it is just way too much I don't know how hard it can get and these rows were actually originally debuted in crash 1 the original crash 1 not the insane trilogy one and they were removed after crash 2 because they were way too difficult and nobody liked them so that's why, and they didn't bring it back in the insane trilogy at all either, so like, but they bought the Mac Crash 4, just, you know, add difficulty even more, and, like, it's just absolutely, I don't know why they thought a good idea to, like, you know, bring these back, I guess for nostalgia purposes, but still, like, if nobody liked them the first time around, don't bring them back. So I'm really hoping, like, they don't bring these back, same with Inverted too, like, Inverted is not bad at all too, but, like, if I did to play the same stage again, except, you know, if it, you know, in filter that sometimes, you know, it's kind of pointless, like, yeah, it's absolutely terrible for me. Flat potatoes you can keep. I mean, I don't know how more you can keep them from, like, they were, you know, before Crash 1, but still. But, like, still, like, I really hope that, like, the next Crash game, they tone down the difficulty on completion, because, like, it's just way too much. Like, I mean, the ins, I mean, original games had this too, but they weren't that difficult. I mean, heck, even Crash 1, I mean, wasn't that difficult either. To get like all the like you know breaking every single box and like completion and everything like that. So like I mean, hopefully, but I mean luckily I got the platinum trophy side. You know, we put this game to rest too. Which yeah, I played this game a lot already. And I'm actually kind of like burned out playing this game personally because the relics. Okay, so okay, wait for this right here. Okay, good. These are pretty tricky to do, depending on how you slide. Okay, good. This, now. Boom, okay. Yeah, you gotta slide pretty good, because if you don't slide well, then that's when you, uh, you're gonna die. Okay, so good, good. Perfect. This is the last half, too, which is not that bad at all. I kind of get expert at this stage, too, because I played it a lot. Um, one of the best stages in the game, personally. Okay, so. Easy I worry about because yeah, especially the end. Good. 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 Dinosaur completed this. Perfect. And there you go. Got it. That one pops up. Got the purple velvet right here. And there you go. And here I am barely repeating, actually. One of the best stages in the game as well, too. There's a lot of good stages in this game, personally. Mainly the crash ones. This stage used to be pretty hard to get the world for. Until they, you know, fix the forward hitbox at the end. That's made it pretty easy. I mean, I didn't play Crash 4 when it came out. I had no PlayStation or Xbox. I wait till it come to Switch, so... Other than that, yeah. I mean, I'm glad they fixed it. Hidden gems right here, too. I mean, hidden gems and, like, are not really much to worry about. Okay, onto yellow gem, because, like, some boxes there. 
good. You should be pretty good here, and it's like a uh, reminiscent of the high road. Use the uh, cool wall here, but I mean, I don't use it. I mean, it's not that bad at all to do. You don't need to use it. You don't need to use it actually when you're uh, in a section. Wow! 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 Wow!